A while ago, I made a video on a little game called Devilated. It's made by one guy, a developer named Trunks, and he's been working on it for about five years. There were some things that were cool about it, but it also had a lot of issues, and I mentioned a bunch of them in that video. But recently, Trunks has put out a major update, and when I looked at it, I was blown away. Significant improvements have been made to the game, and I figured the least I could do was present them here. There's a big original rock soundtrack now to complement the fast-paced action. And there's a map now. This was a big problem earlier, with levels being so labyrinthian and vertical, it was so easy to get lost if you took a wrong turn or fell to another floor. And would you look at this? A full 3D map system with fog of war that peels back as you progress. This is huge, and it must have taken a lot of work, so well done, man. There used to be an issue where you couldn't see the corpses in the dark. In Devilated, you pick up the dead bodies of fallen enemies to either use as shields or to consume for health points. And with all the dark textures and shadows, these guys could sometimes be really hard to see. That's problematic in a game where you want to be moving around fast all the time, and you gotta just stop to try to find these corpses. Now corpses have a glow when you get close, making them much easier to see. There have been some big changes to the lighting system, and the game just generally looks better. The time slowdown when opening the inventory has been increased, making it more viable to switch items in mid-fight so you don't die. The inventory now has a temporary slot so you can move items around more easily and you don't have to put something down just so you can rearrange everything. Melee weapons are no longer breakable, and I think that's a great thing. But I didn't use melee that much, so I'd be curious what other players think of this change. You can now instantly switch to any weapon you want instead of opening the inventory, and that's a game changer. Guns that run out of ammo no longer just mysteriously disappear from your inventory forever. There's an option to reduce screen shaking, praise the lord, and probably most important, the save system has been revamped. Devilated punishes you for dying by taking away gold, but the game lets you manually save at any point so players could just reload their latest save and skip the gold penalty, which totally broke the game's economy. Now there is a checkpoint system where you manually save your game at specific shrines around the map. And there's more changes too, and bug fixes. Some levels have been redesigned or tweaked. Seriously, a lot of work has been put into improving the state of the game. If you were interested in Devilated, but all the issues I pointed out were keeping you away, you may want to check it out now. I'm honestly really happy to see someone working this hard and it deserves praise. Good work man, keep it up. Check out Devilated on Steam if you're interested, see you next time.